Good afternoon, everyone. Today, uh, this is my pleasure to present the results of my study uh, on the factor influencing enrollment in agriculture course. In my presentation, this will include the introduction methodology and summary writing, conclusion and recommendation. Let's start from the introduction. Now, the people in the world, the population in the world is increased every time and all time. The important thing is the food. Food safety exists when all the people at all time have physical, social, and economic access to the sufficient, safe, and nutritious foods to meet their daily needs and food problems for the active and healthy life. The situation now in uh, many Asia, Asia, uh, Asia countries, the agriculture sector is uh, undertaking transformation with the changing in the contribution of the different subsector for them. In Thailand, Thailand is one of the leading of food product and uh, exporter of the agriculture product to other countries. This is a belief that is agriculture education is among the other factors is have been instru instrumental to the agriculture development in the uh, country. <coughs> agriculture as a premier uh, major pillar uh, to the na national economy should remain as the influence of the country higher education program. The future of Thailand, agriculture development uh, will depend on the quality of uh, education in the country of the institution is have uh, an, an important law to uh, promote agriculture as a, as a career to promote the young to careers in the uh, farming to sustain, sustain food production for the future generation. Major University as a premier agriculture institution in Thailand have a significant law to uh, promote agriculture as a career. The situation now, the young generation is not seeing see not much interest about the agriculture as the uh, vocation as the career or the career. Most of them like the, uh, to be the white color job rather than blue color job. Uh, the effect of that is in the law area is uh, agriculture production is what we can. Uh, let's see in the, the data of the in enrollment in agriculture uh, education in Asia. Like in the Philippines, we found that trade alone in agriculture education is uh, decreased in sharply. In Vietnam, it's decreased also. But in Laos, it's in, in, increased in the uh, certificate on and diploma. And in Indonesia, it's increased. So, uh, let's see in other universities in Thailand, like Kasesa uh, University and Chiang Mai University. Training law in agriculture course between 2006 to 2010. We found that is the report from the higher education in Thailand. This is increased enrolled in agriculture course in uh, two university, but it's decreased in uh, Nelson University, principal of Songkai University. This is from the south of Thailand and Kongtem University. Uh, King Mungkut in stages of the technology that is decreasing. From that situation, this problem is linked to the perspective and aspiration of the student to stand out of the agriculture sector. I need to mean that uh, I accept that the uh, enrollment trade in enrollment trade in major university as a premier of agriculture is to change in Thailand. Water is a uh, decline, just like the other trade in the school in Thailand or 
authors authors who in Asian no 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 the blockchain is important. This is a uh, because of the status of the environment in agriculture and related field. This could be the intricate of the uh, decreasing competitive of agriculture. This is uh, in context that the this study should have understood to determine the factor that influence the decision of the student for the enrollment in agriculture course in Thailand. So the objective of this study, I want to know, um, I want to determine the factor that influence the student to the decision of the student to enroll in agriculture course. And the first uh, in specific uh, first is regard the internal and external factor is maybe influence the student decision to enroll in agriculture course and analysis the decision and uh, resource of the respondent for enrolled in agriculture course and determine the internal and external factor that influence the decision of the respondent to enroll in agriculture course. In the methodology and inside the methodology for uh, the first is framework. Framework start from the student. In the framework, uh, conceptual framework of the study, the student when, uh, when they are decision, they want to decision to something, they will think uh, have the background. So in this, uh, this study, I decided the framework from the internal, internal uh, of the student and external of the student decide internal factor and what the factor is influencing them to the decision to agriculture. The first is the socio-economic characteristics of the student and academic program in high school, value and attitude travel to agriculture. This is an uh, internal factor. Uh, External factor, look at the person who is willing to influence them to go to agriculture. And university characteristic, what uh, major university have characteristic uh, of, of, of that, that uh, academy. And for that, for, for uh, information system that university get, uh, the student get from the university or another. This is uh, the framework of this study and want to know what the factor uh, influence them to the decision to enroll in agriculture course. The logo of this study, study in uh, major university Thailand. Major university is have three campus. Uh, the first campus is in Chiang Mai Ruin and this is main campus this year. It's far from Bangkok, about uh, 9 hours or 10 hours by bus, by train 1 hour. Uh, this one is Prayer Campus, and the, another one is Chumpon Campus. The name is Chiang Mai University, uh, Metro University, uh, Chumpon Campus, Metro University, Prayer Campus, and Chim, Metro University, Chiang Mai Campus. Three campus, this is the area of this study. The respondent of this study is first year student uh, enrolled in agriculture course 3, 000, uh, 322, uh, 320 and in terms of agriculture in 350. Um, method of analysis use descriptive analysis and profit, uh, profit analysis. Before we go to the resource of this study, uh, in major university, offer agriculture course in uh, school year 2010 to 2011 is a uh, 18 course under the agriculture diploma. So uh, the respondent of this study is the student in agriculture course, and another course is the. Uh, Another part is non-agriculture. Uh, 
let's start from the resource of the uh, fighting. Uh, some layers fighting. First is training road. Training road is important. Training road in metro university. Training road in agriculture course in metro university. During to the third one to the third ten. Uh, in the first is main campus. Chiang Mai campus. We find that is the training road in Chiang Mai campus is a uh, decreased in 2009 to 2010 uh, and in Prague campus some years is decreased, some years is uh, uh, increased but uh, in 2010 is increased. Chung Pong campus is, uh, is increased uh, also but it's very, number of the students is very good uh, and in uh, all the campus for all campus, the training on in Metro University is increased in 10 years between 2001 to 2010. Uh, let's see the by campus uh, by course. This is by course, right? Number one is the fishery. Fishery between uh, Um, between 10 years, officially it was in place uh, uh, the agriculture engineer, engineering is what in place, uh, is in place also. But this one, brand side we think uh, between 2009 to 2010 is, is decreased in road. But uh, let's see in this one, the landscape, we find that is uh, decreased in loan between 2008 to 2010. See another campus, uh, pre campus. Pre campus offer three course in agriculture course. Uh, the trade in loan is uh, some year is very high in uh, number of the students. Uh, is, uh, in 2008, the trade and road in uh, agroforestry is very high because of uh, this is offered the new course in Metro University, uh, but open at the pre campus agroforestry. And uh, this, this course is have <coughs> the only one in, in, uh, in Thailand. Another university almost they will open only uh, side in in uh, for the state only, but metro university by the bus focus on the agro for the state, so that's why the trade and growth is uh, very high in that state. In Jungpon campus, uh, they start have the uh, open the course in uh, agriculture course. Uh, from 2004, we set to to course in visually and outside order. Trade alone is increased also. For some, uh, some for about the trade alone, we found that increased trade alone in uh, agriculture course in Metro University, but lagged behind the non agriculture course in terms of the annual and increase and annual. Actual enrollment, uh, 11, 20, 23% uh, in agriculture and non agriculture, 22, 10%. Actual uh, number is in 2010 is uh, 1,465, and in non agriculture, uh, very wide, uh, 2,516. Uh, that is trade and growth. Uh, let's see the resource from the internal factor. In the socio-democratic characteristics of the student in agriculture, what we found that majority are female enrolled in agriculture course and they are uh, from rural areas. The education of the parent is between uh, four to seven years in school. About elementary to uh, junior high school and they are farmers. 
and income household income of the the respondent in the agriculture is lower or in non agriculture is higher than uh, the income from the agriculture and most of them is the source of the money for education is from parents or uh, they are uh, get the money for education from parents in the academic program in high school this is a uh, look at the breakout of the student in high school uh, we find that is the uh, then to uh, science and mathematics program in high school and another is they are take the agriculture subject in high school and they have experience about agriculture in high school and uh, in, the home, in the house also they have experience about agriculture and we find that one is the, the student participate in future farmer of Thailand is effective in high school and the, the GPA of agriculture student is 2.93 in non-agriculture is 2.99 is lower than non-agriculture value well, and attitude of the student travel to agriculture the resource show that is the they agree the same value uh, they agree in uh, value and attitude they have a good attitude in agriculture uh, so because of them is from the, the rural area and they have experience uh, in agriculture in high school and uh, the, the most of them is the father is farmer occupation in the ethanol factor uh, ethanol factor is, uh, has the order ethanol of the student the decision making let's uh, start from the characteristics of the university we find that this uh, first year student enrolled in uh, major university in agriculture course is 18 to 19 to me the load cost of education we find that is the cost of education in major university is a different uh, to pay between the student uh, one is have to pay to the faith and another is have to pay the major uh, major maintenance fee uh, this one so we find that is the in agriculture cost is more Cost of, 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 of cost of education is expensive to them, non agriculture course and we find that is very few of the student is the get the scholarship for studying. You know, see uh, admission. Uh, number one is uh, agriculture student from quota system. Number two is admission uh, entrance examination system. Uh, they like a pine uh, at least in the system and alumni program. In the information system, the the respondent, uh, the respondent in agriculture and non agriculture, they receive the information. Number one is from website. Number two is teacher in high school and video. When I'm the student in agriculture course, why you enroll in agriculture course? Because I want to know the resource why you enroll in agriculture course. Number one, the student said I has a better the opportunity to employ the good institutions or or the company or the government. I believe number two is I believe the agriculture course is good uh, help me to develop uh, potential potential. Uh, when I graduate, I can work in the volunteer job. I like agriculture course because we have farm. And number five is I like uh, to be with the nature. I, so I take agriculture course. And number six, from the lines, 
uh, my colleagues want me to study agriculture course. That is the resource why, uh, from the student why they are enrolling. Next is the resource from profit analysis. Uh, it means that is the influence, what factor influence the student decision to enroll in agriculture course. In internal factor, socio-economic characteristic of the student, I find that this the occupation of the parent is farmer, highly significant when the student enrolled in agriculture course. Marginal effect estimate that is the marginal effect estimate that is increased enrolled in agriculture course twenty one percent. Father is farming into when the student and in academic program in high school, we find that it's highly significant in the uh, student enrolled in high school science and mathematics program in high school. It went highly, highly significant in when the student to enroll in agriculture course and marginal effect estimate that is will increase in enrollment in agriculture course eighty percent. Uh, Cup association that is the student participate in high school uh, define that FFT or Future Farmer of Thailand. When the student uh, participate at FFT in, in high school, influence the student to enroll in agriculture course. Marginal effect estimate that 24% will enroll will increase in enrollment in agriculture course. Uh, but another is uh, Agriculture subject taken in high school. We find the resource that, that is the negative, negative, uh, negative influence the student to enroll in agriculture course. It means the student will enroll in non agriculture course. And marginal effect estimate that is will decrease the student to enroll in agriculture course. Uh, 17% and GPA, GPA in high school uh, influence the student to enroll in agriculture course but it's negative influence. Uh, marginal effect estimate that is will decrease enroll in uh, agriculture course 21%. It's mean the student in high grade may not enroll in agriculture course. In additional factor, person influence who we influence you to uh, study in agriculture. We find that it's faster significant to enroll in agriculture cost uh, estimate uh, 99%. Teacher in high school is important maybe it's near the student participate in them every day, every day. Uh, influence them to enroll in agriculture cost. The marginal effect eleven percent for it, and this one is the on sale. The the, the, the student decision by by themselves. Uh, marginal effect estimated will in, uh, will increase in enrollment in agriculture cost uh, 30, 31 percent. And master friend high school faculty also negative influence enrolled in agriculture course. The last is the university influence. We find that is uh, fee is highly significant the student to enroll in agriculture course. Uh, it's been the cost of education. But marginal effect estimate that is very, very low uh, percent to enroll in agriculture. In the conclusion, we find that this increasing trend in learning metro university is in all campus. Uh, and we find mostly <coughs> in father as a farming, mostly in uh, science and mathematics enrolled in high school course of education. And negative uh, influence is agriculture subject in high school and GPA in high school. 
from the result of this study, I can recommend uh, that is the uh, this is the policy of hiring new teachers in Thailand. That is only student enrolled in science and mathematics program from high school can take agriculture course <coughs> or higher education. So uh, can be recommend that is the university administration should be the uh, review the policy and consider the possibility of the student to enroll in other program from high school to enroll in uh, agriculture course in higher education for sustain the good number of enrolled in agriculture in the future. Membership of FFT or Future Farmer of Thailand it should be regulated the learning activity and exploit of the agriculture is can be in charge or the participate in FFT activity motivate the student to enroll in agriculture course and the university it should be utilizing the uh, agriculture education program to contribute contribute with the high school courses and number of FFT uh, member of FFT <coughs> in the transsexual enrollment make the uh, agriculture subject is more interesting because the uh, agriculture subject is not uh, influential student relevant to enjoy uh, in high high school student and to enroll in agriculture course now. Teacher in high school it should be decide the community way curriculum in the agriculture is relevant to the community need and to motivate the student to like the subject and later enroll in agriculture course in high school but uh, in higher education. Institution is but uh, building the strong link with the farmer and parent to promote agriculture course and promote the of the uh, program of the, the university. Those are enrolled in agriculture course have the low income, uh, yet the pay, pay higher higher uh, cost for education. If uh, income from the farming is remain to be low and cost of education in uh, agriculture education is high it might be less of the enrolling in the uh, enrollment in the agriculture in the future university issues remain the cost of agriculture education and provide more the scholarship grants and assistance teacher it should be in uh, to Invocate the importance of the agriculture to the society. Teacher in and high school counselor should be uh, give the opportunity to attend in the training and in the field of the agriculture to be the up, update on the <coughs> investment in agriculture technology and uh, provide with the educate in the uh, learning resources. And then is the recommendation from the uh, the student uh, from the respondent uh, to increase the enrollment in agriculture. They said is make the agriculture uh, profit profitable business provide more the facility in the university of the effective teaching and learning and more potential works uh, for the student in the field. The last recommendation is the business is study for the international university for this recommendation. The recommendation is should be do the similar research, uh, should be included in another University offer agriculture course uh, to uh, generate the overall picture of enrollment in 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 the country and more micro level for sure the program could be developed. 
for this reason, this, this, uh, this study, uh, I want to acknowledge my ambassador, Dr. Esterita G. Kamechi is here now today. And Dr. 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 Firman Sivilai, she is here also. Dr. Pansarida M. Sirman, she is here. And another is, uh, cannot come today, Dr. Maria Excels M. Oden, and Dr. Dorete D. Uh, Dr. Loreto D. Dorete, Dr. Logan C. Suasia University. President of CLSU, <laughs> Dr. Uh, Soledad M. Logel, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. S. Rita L. Carlos, Acting Dean, IGS of Central Luzon State University, Chirka, uh, Director, Dr. Q. C. Sasuki, Dr. S. Rita C. C. Hon, Manager, Ms. Presid uh, A. Sir M. In charge, graduate uh, scholarship <coughs> assistant, Dr. Uh, Maria Cecilia H. Kadim, uh, Ms. Julia B. Mariban, manager and training special of knowledge management and of, of the co official concern. Dr. J. Pong Panik, Dr. Jamnian uh, Yotra, the president of Major University, Dr. Sungun Pepradao. Dr. Nam Chai Tinu Bun, and Assistant uh, Professor Chu Chi Chi Dong from Major University Thailand, and Dr. Chu Kiet Lee Suan from Chiang Mai University. Thank you for listening. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Fokker Arivai. At this point, I would like to invite our audience to use the microphones around the room to direct their questions or uh, comments to Mr. Kokpong Karanivan. Yes, sir. Please, by the way, introduce yourself and your institution for your question. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dr. Chantudeva. I am uh, took my PhD in animal science. I'm from Indonesia, and my minor is wildlife studies. I'm Siaka Scholar. Uh, actually, I want to confirm only the first confirmation about the Indonesia. Actually, that's uh, our audit also because uh, starting 2006 up to 2000. Nine before I came mm -hmm. here. Indonesian student from high school, it's very low enrollment to the agriculture subject. So if there is increase, I think it's not good. <laughs> decrease. Uh, and for animal science, one university of uh, offer the uh, course in animal science. The name is University of. Sam Ratulangi in North Sulawesi. Before they offer the quota up to 150. Unfortunately, they only get the enrollment six students from 150. So uh, some discussion also offer in the internet about why the Indonesian student. Maybe, but the problem is in Indonesian language. That's why it's not really clear for you. Uh, why? Because the answer is, as my experience also, because I'm a lecturer also in Diponegoro University in Indonesia, in animal science, when I discuss with my, some of students, they say that, sir, we don't have future when we come to the agriculture course. So what's the answer actually for me? This is my uh, idea. Maybe you can give the, your idea. The important thing from one university to give the course of agriculture is increasing the entrepreneurship program. That's the important and I think the key role. Because uh, let, uh, like you said that female student is higher number in uh, agriculture course. Otherwise, when they finish study, 
no place for the female, especially in animal science. No place for the female in farm for animal science. They always use a male to be a technical service, to be a supervisor. So we need to improve the entrepreneurship program in one university that offer agriculture course. And it's happened in two universities in Indonesia and will be three, including my university. Bogor Agriculture University and Brawijaya University. It's a uh, one, uh, it's two of the university that offer entrepreneurship program include in the curriculum of the animal science courses. So it's really helpful for them to get more students because after they offer the entrepreneurship program and they can get the alumni that really stand good and tough uh, in the business of the animal science, they will get more, uh, more students. And the last, uh, last uh, idea from me about the science and mathematics program in high school, it's better if the social can be joined also to the agriculture. It's already done in Indonesia, but be careful. Because if you offer that one to the socio-economic program for the social student, it's no problem. No problem for them. But it's happened in my university. We offer also for the animal production, we offer also in animal nutrition. And what happened? They cannot follow biology. They cannot follow physics. They cannot follow chemistry. So what happened? They changed the course to the socio-economy. So that's when, uh, one of my idea if you want to uh, give suggestion to the country about changing the role of the curriculum, uh, role of the en enrollment to the university, I think it's better if it's only offered for the socio-economic. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is a very good idea for uh, Because of uh, the education system of the, in Thailand and uh, another country, it's, it's not the uh, sum is different different like in the in in Thailand high school student is uh, they are selected the, the program already like uh, one is time is the program Num uh, number two is uh, mathematics and art number two is art and social but number three is art and social and some school is open uh, for program like this but uh, the the policy is I, I agree with with uh, with the community about the uh, be careful about the let the, the student from social to enroll in agriculture course. But in the suggestion in my paper, I suggest suggest is more about the the, the, the strategy for. But university have to have the the the, the role for. For late uh, late loan, but you have to take more more course, more subject about the life, more uh, chemical, uh, chemi chemi chemical subject, uh, biology more like that. But maybe first year you should have to have uh, take the many many subject outside if the student is from social and before they enter in uh, agriculture course, it should be have the uh, pet exam was made by that. Thank you very much for your presentations. Yes, ma'am. I was happy listening to the man from Indonesia. I, I would like to react that uh, when I was invited at the University of Gajamada, my paper was the global competitiveness of agriculture education. And based on the documentations and the research I have gathered, I think the limitations of agriculture is not our curriculum, but it's how we teach agriculture. It's the perception of the people that once they are taking agriculture, they make their hands dirty. But if we are going to remove all these things, and we have to put in the importance of agriculture to people, especially in food security, maybe we could increase agriculture. Another point is, uh, according to Hillary Clinton, on her, on her speech when 
she was an applicant and I was also there at the University of Bulgaria. Um, institutions of higher learning should also be partners of development in the teaching of agriculture. We have to determine and evaluate also what we are teaching. Another point is we have also to consider the industry, what the industry needs as well as what our uh, country needs and uh, what also the tra trainings of the faculty members. Are we teaching the correct uh, strategies or the courses that will lead to the improvement of the agricultural curriculum or program? So, in, uh, with regards to agriculture in Gadjumada University, there was an increase especially in the fisheries. And I think you agree with that. And also, uh, based on the studies, as we could see, you know, we are going back to agriculture because we knew that we need food. But the only thing that we have to take care of is our source of power. Because once we develop or once we manufacture things, once we use the land, we need the power or what we call the electricity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any more questions or comments from our audience? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I'm Dr. Mauricio, I'm a forester, <laughs> but uh, I was a farmer when I was young, but now I'm a forester. <laughs> now I'm a lazy old man. Now I would like to ask how, what, uh, what was your major, major in studying at the uh, UPLB? Uh, yes. 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 I study from the Central Wilson State University in uh, development education. Development education. How, how many years have you been in the Philippines? Three. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. Four. 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 Now, would you recommend, uh, based on your stay in Thailand and in the Philippines, would you recommend the exchange of students to from uh, students from Thailand and Indonesia and uh, Malaysia and elsewhere to universities in the Philippines and vice versa, students in the Philippines to go study also in uh, Thailand, in Malaysia and, and uh, other countries in Asia. Because it appears that uh, uh, the advance of uh, the cultural uh, technologies in, in these countries are different. So probably, would you think it is better that there should be exchange of students so that we can all the, uh, the, all the countries in the Asia could uh, progress? Because as I understand, the Philippines was ahead in agriculture several years ago, but now Thailand is better. That's why we import. Right, it's because they were physically educated. <laughs> what, what do you think about this? Uh, if you think about my thinking, I think uh, the system of learning, when we have the knowledge already, we have to apply, apply the knowledge. And we will, we will uh, look at the environment, like in Thailand and Philippines. It's, it's similar to the same but uh, in Thailand, the people, one of the, 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 the thing is the, the people believe the king, respect the king. And the government used the, the, the strategy for, for, like, uh, for, it is hard to transfer the technology in agriculture for them. King, who we want to do it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for the topic for this. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. For the information of everybody, I would like to uh, tell you that we already have an exchange program with uh, the Navy University, Rajmangala, and then the uh, King Mokot, and other more. 
especially so, UP Los Banos is now, you know, uh, in collaboration with major university because the new president of the major university is a graduate and an alumnus of uh, UPLB. The former president was a graduate of CLSU. So that is why we really have a strong collaboration now with the uh, universities in Thailand. And uh, with regards to the second issue that was presented relative to uh, um, the, the interest of the students who are taking up, you know, uh, agriculture uh, courses, yeah, we have to understand it that uh, it's more of attitude. I think the Thai people is one among the most disciplined people in the world. <laughs> most of them who are educated in the Philippines, when they went back to Thailand, they brought with them all the knowledge, the skills that they got from the Philippine education. And, and the, the difference they made there is they applied everything that they learned from the Jubilus Panos and from CLSU. Before, yes sir, before we are, you know, number one is rice production. We are exporting our rice. Now, we are importing. Not only from Thailand, but in Vietnam. I think we all know that. I don't know how, how we solve the problem. I think it's still the educational system we, in the academic world, we are the most responsible persons who should take care of this kind of you know, scenario in our, uh, especially in our agricultural problems. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to make uh, one more recommendation, especially to instructors, teachers in the universities and colleges. You see, when I, I, I was uh, teaching in the College of Forestry here at UPLB, I resigned to work in the industry because I felt that I should learn more. I could learn more while well, I'm in the, industry, in the field rather than read the books in the offices. Yeah. This is today. So I suggest that, uh, uh, well, on the job, right? Wanna, uh, do not get hurt. Yeah. I suggest that when you graduate and become members of the faculty in the university, either agriculture or whatever, please stay for some time, work in the field, yeah. Yeah. so that when you return, you can teach uh, the appropriate exactly. problems to the students. Because if you read only the books, oh my gosh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Theories but not practices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Skill. Make the student is strong and have the skill. Okay, so Dr. Sumayo was raising her hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I'd like to go back to the research itself. The, the agriculture that you are talking about, the BS in agriculture. I wonder if uh, does Adi really look into the kind of graduate of agriculture the students have in mind when they were asked about uh, when they were asked for the reasons why they enrolled in agriculture? Because it looks like to me from some of the data that I saw that they were expecting to be replacements of their fathers who are farmers. Yeah. No? A reason, for instance, like uh, uh, we have a farm will tell you very clearly that this student's idea of being a graduate of agriculture is to go back to the farm. Mm -hmm. Is that the uh, agriculture that we are talking about here, the BS in agriculture that we are talking about here? Not to replace the aging, the graying farmers that uh, you have in Thailand so that when they retire, then you have a replacement. But this time, already graduated from the university or from the college. Is that the idea that the students have or that you have about uh, being a student of a degree in undergraduate degree in agriculture? Mm, actually, the result is the, uh, the, the 
the the student. So, I like the coaching course. I think the coaching course because I have fun. It's a uh, it is it, a uh, the student you go to agriculture in the farm or not in the when they are getting already. Uh, the first is is my not because the social is now. The social is now. When uh, for this reason, I lack from the the get the resource of the the, the student graduate already. Where are they go? But almost from the experience, the student will work in the factory or work in the agency. I think, like that. and very few is to work in the farm. Yeah. So. Uh... <coughs> I just making a, an assumption, right? An assumption that these are when they graduate from the curriculum, they don't necessarily have to go back to the farm yes. because they can learn other uh, jobs. No. Would that be a correct assumption for the research? So it was not much uh, explained by Richard, but in his paper, that the, 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 the end result of his research is to encourage and motivate the students or graduates not only to work in the farms, but also to encourage, uh, motivate them to become more fruitful farmers in the future not only to put them in entrepreneurship, but also um, helping the world also to put security. <laughs> 